Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Nyonya Cooking. In this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare a very simple condiment. It's a type of chili sauce that goes with almost everything. You're going to love it because it goes well with rice, noodles, instant noodles even, fried tofu, almost everything and anything. In Malay, we call this chili garam and I grew up with this name chili garam. Uh, when translated to English, it is literally called as salty chili sauce. Now, this chili sauce is not only salty but also also slightly sourish and of course spicy so let's check out the ingredients to prepare this the list of ingredients is pretty simple because we're going to begin with chilies of course I'm using here fresh chilies remember to deseed them uh, wash them truly because you do not want the chili sauce to be too spicy and then we we'll move on to some garlic some ginger instead of using calamansi juice because i don't have it here in germany all i'm using is a lime some salt and sugar to taste that's all you do not need anything else and guess what this recipe you do not need to cook it so let's move on to the steps to prepare all you need is your trusted blender or food processor remember to cut the ingredients into smaller pieces so that it will blend easily and that's all so put the chilies ginger and garlic together Let me just warn you, this chili sauce is a bit garlicky so if you do not like garlic, just cut down or reduce the content of garlic but seriously, garlic is the life to chili garam, you need to have garlic so uh, I'm going to blend the ingredients I'm halfway through blending the ingredients and because there's not enough water or moist in the chili sauce and that will not help the chili or the ingredients to um, continue blending into smaller pieces therefore I'm going to add a bit of lime juice now if you are in Southeast Asia perhaps it's easier to get calamansi juice and that's what I would prefer as well um, and I do not really recommend to add water into this There you have it, after blending for about merely 10 seconds, my chili is ready. So this is the consistency that you're looking for. It's mushy, it's wet, and it's exactly how it should look like. Last but not least, add the sugar. And salt for taste. The next step is really to taste the chili sauce because it really depends on the type of chilies that you use, uh, whether you're using lime or um, calamansi juice, it really makes a difference to the sauce. Some people actually add vinegar just to make it slightly more sour. You can also do that. And earlier I said do not use water because we can actually keep this chili sauce for about almost two weeks. When we have water in the chili sauce, it may not last that long. So I'm going to taste it now just to see how it tastes like. Good amount of sweetness, but still I want a bit more sourness to it. So I'm going to add more lime juice. Lovely. Delicious. A great amount of sourness, just the way I like it. Now this recipe is so simple, you have to try this and it literally goes with every single meal. Uh, what we normally do is to prepare a bulk of it, store it in a bottle and we'll keep it in the fridge for almost up to two weeks. It goes with every single thing. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe and in fact, this recipe is just one step away from being the chili sauce of a very special dish and it's also pretty famous in Malaysia and also Singapore so if you want to give a quick guess on what the next recipe would be give me a comment in the comment section below to tell me what you think it may be until then remember to give me a thumbs up and I wish you happy cooking